How are you doing? My name is Lance Kane at AMS Performance. I'm the Director of Technical Operations. I oversee our engine and transmission program. One of the things that I'd like to touch on today is the VR30 engine program, and more specifically, the consumer's concerns about coolant leaking into the oil passages. There's been a lot of talk about porous blocks, and that's one of the things that I wanted to touch on today to show you what our engine program does to make sure that our engine builds are free of this concern and touch on a little bit more about what the actual concern is, and I can definitely say it's not a porous block. This engine just came in from a customer, and this is gonna be a core for a future stage three build with CNC heads. What we're doing is we're pressure testing the entire cooling system over a long period of time with specific equipment that measures down to a hundredth of a PSI. It also logs temperature as well. One of the reasons why we use this is we can find the smallest leaks even when water might be present in the system. So we'll know right away if your core is sealed up and it's good and viable for use. If we do find a problem, we let the customer know right away. We did find an issue, and throughout the teardown process, we go through several other stages of individual component testing to make sure that each cylinder head block are completely sealed up and are good. And we can identify the problem usually pretty quickly when we have it fully torn down. Once we identify the problem, we can rectify it by either replacing or sealing up the affected area. So one of the major concerns that everybody has been talking about is porous blocks. Now, every manufacturer in the history of manufacturing cars has had a porous casting of some sort over its lifespan. But one thing I can say is we have never experienced a porous block in a VR30 engine. What we have found is that the cylinder heads are cracking around the head bolt bosses and also around the exhaust ports. And I'll be able to show you a little bit more about exactly what we found and how to identify it. So the engine that we have is a full assembly, that one pressure tested good. However, this cylinder head as an example I'm gonna to use today did fail our inspection and unfortunately had to be replaced in one of the engine builds. So this is the secondary step. If we do find a leak in one of our engine assemblies uh, before teardown, we pressure test each individual cylinder head in the exact same way. Now on this particular one, I can actually show you what the exact problem is. Now we're talking about porous blocks, uh, we haven't found any issues there. And a lot of other people have also been talking about the two main coolant galley plugs right here in the center where there's a crush washer underneath and believing that that is also a concern. Now, I'm not saying that it's not, maybe it is, but we have never found that to be the case. What is actually happening is the two center head bolts right around the exhaust port are cracking externally. So on this particular one, we can actually spray it down with water and we could see a leak almost immediately. And right now we're using the same pressure testing equipment from the regulator, the onboard pressure sensor that has onboard pressure logging capabilities. And the second that I shut off air pressure to the system, we can immediately start watching it drop from 14.5 and start ticking down little by little until it hits our warning indicator, indicating that we have a bad part. So one of the other things that we do visually is also spray it with a soapy water or any type of leak detecting fluid that we use. Uh, plumbing fluid, uh, for example, works really, really well because it detects really small leaks, but then we can actually identify where that particular issue is. So if you look down into the bowl hole, it doesn't take much, but you spray a little bit of water in there and all of a sudden we have a mini bubble bath. So behind me, you saw the individual cylinder head pressure test and it was a bank two cylinder head. There we can identify of exactly where the coolant is intruding into the oil uh, system on the, on the engine itself. What we did is we took a couple cylinder heads and actually sectioned them apart to see what was going on. Amongst other research that we did, we actually identified exactly what the problem was. So if you look really closely, you can actually see the crack propagating right here, down into the coolant passage, right at the start of where the chamfer is for the head bolt head. Unfortunately, this corner is actually pretty sharp where it creates a stress riser and there's enough compressive load under the head bolt where it actually causes this casting to crack. Now, one of the things that it makes this head really complicated is all the coolant passages around the exhaust port. Now, it's a common exhaust port and all the coolant passages are there to basically keep exhaust gas temperature and NOx in check. It's an emissions uh, design that they're really trying to control. But unfortunately, it creates a very thin area right here underneath, all the way through. And this is exactly where the crack propagates from the corner of the head bolt all the way down and then through. Now, on a rare occasion, this can crack all the way down into where the spring perch is or continue up to where that threaded boss is in the crush washer in extreme cases. But generally speaking, you're gonna see pooling or bubbles just underneath the head bolt or you're gonna see them just outside of that boss 
leading down into the casting. Now, both heads, bank one and bank two, have experienced problems. However, it seems to be, in our experience, that bank one seems to be the uh, more concerning uh, problem child cylinder head. Now, there is a bank two cylinder head that's on the pressure testing rig right now that has exactly the same concerns, and they always crack in usually one or both of those head bolt locations. We have never found any other cracks or porous block issues uh, in any other part of the cylinder head or the block itself, which we do have the ability to pressure test the block um, separately and isolate that. But that is where all your coolant is coming from, and the engines are unfortunately uh, mixing coolant in oil. So now since we reviewed what the actual problem is for VR30s that have coolant consumption issues, you know exactly where to look if that concern is true. And because this pressure testing process is standard for all of our engines during teardown and for final completion, we know and can guarantee that your engine is gonna arrive with a sealed up cooling system. If your engine is possibly experiencing some of these issues, contact your sales representative for more information and we'll be able to help you along the way. Now, unfortunately, there's no other remedy for this situation other than to replace a cylinder head with something that is known and good. Now, if anybody had any question or any concern about having your engine built and exhibiting the same problem or not being able to catch this, contact your AMS sales representative. We can guarantee when the engine is complete and assembled, everything will be sealed up and pressure tested with a report. Now, anybody that has concerns about our engine program, we have many options for all of our customers with cores in stock, built ready to go at a reduced price so you're not paying for a new core. Um, and other options on top of that. Generally speaking, we always have a short block or a long block assembled ready, so we can usually turn this around pretty quickly. But if you have any questions, please reach out to your sales rep.